Hey guys, back to do another episode. This time we're continuing the series on the auto bucket where we're going to take a look at the Orange Julius and Sweet Lemons that we've already put in a few days back to see how they're progressing and check out what we're going to load it up with next. I was just watching it go through the humidification cycle and you see it's on right now. It just flipped over, it hit 62 for a second and then went to 61 almost immediately. But to go up from 61 to 62 took about 20 minutes. So you can see it's hovering uh, on the way up on the humidification cycle. It's hovered around 60 for quite a long time. So to me that kind of says that it's time to transition into the more of the curing phase. And for that what I plan to do is to set the set point at 58. And use a four degree differential so that it'll range between 58 and 62. Um, you know, based on those curing packs that you can buy, I think that seems to be an appropriate range. So let's just take a look at what it looks like inside. I haven't looked myself yet. out. I'm going to remove all this extra length on this probe and just go ahead and attach it onto the wall. I think that'll still function just as fine if it's attached just like right here. Okay, so let's see. This is the Orange Julius. Let me try to get the light better for you guys. Still very uh, sticky. Still has its smell. Does smell a bit like uh, dry leaves. But on the inside, it smells just like what it smelled like when I was alive. So I'd say that's pretty good. And you can see how much empty space there is in the basket now after everything is shrunken down. It still looks very frosty. You can see, uh, or you can hear rather, that it just reached 55 degrees and flipped over to the humidification cycle, which will take probably over an hour at this point. Okay, and so this is the sweet lemon. Whoops. Yeah, and that smells very strong still. More of the uh, fuel tones have come out of this one after drying. It's interesting. And um, as far as the kind of consistency and how dry it is, it's still soft. So it's not crispy at all. So, you know, it can still probably go through a few more days, I would guess, at this set point of 55 to 62. Or again, we can probably switch to the curing stage and slow it down a little bit more. So yeah, there's them two together. And I think I'm actually gonna cure them outside of this because what I would, would like to actually try next you know, that was kind of a small run with only about, I don't know, a third of it being used. Is that we got this huge amount of Oregon lemon. And I want to see how much of this I can fit into here. So I'm going to need to make a bunch more baskets. I think three more at least, maybe four I could fit. We'll see. And uh, we'll probably just hang for a day or so and then put them in. Or kind of try to stagger it somehow so that we can fit all of it in there. All right, guys, if you remember, I actually put in half of that 
batch of sweet lemons into the auto drying bucket. And the other half was just hung up in the room ambient, which is around 45% humidity right now. I haven't had any fans on it uh, that's you know dry enough and they were just hanging up on a rack and so that's these and these are the auto bucket ones these are I would say good bit still wetter than these but they're very close and it makes sense that both are using the ambient to dry these are just drying at constant conditions these are drying at varied conditions with maybe being slowed down a little bit. And again, it's just the control that we've had here. At the moment, I haven't really played around with that, so I don't know what we could do possibly. But uh, this one I would say has maybe lost a little bit more of the smell. Yeah, maybe that kind of is a difference and that was one of the main things I was trying to overcome with the auto bucket concept. I mean, it still has a good bit of the smell, but um, yeah, this one still this one has quite a bit more. So maybe that's one of the results. All right, guys, let me know what you think about this auto drying, auto curing bucket. I've really liked how it's performed. The best part, you know, regardless of how long it takes, you know, doesn't really matter because I have the control. And, you know, with just this little bit of automation, you could too. I was thinking for a larger scale, if you could find a old refrigerator, which, you know, ideally has had all its uh, Freon or whatever properly drained, or, you know, you don't even need to really disassemble that just add the same components, you know, extraction fan, humidity controller, and, you know, the uh, fridge already has racks. You can add some extra ones. You can make quite a large, you know, incognito style auto dry over that or whatever you want, really. But a fridge would be ideal. It's sealed up, dark. You can make the uh, fridge part the drying, the freezer part the curing. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.